Sergeant Hamler, it is an honor, it is a privilege to be able to talk with you, and I'm really so excited to be able to uh, just, just get inside the mind and the heart of a soldier in Afghanistan. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. I'm going to jump right in there with this. What is a day like for you, Sergeant Hamler, in Afghanistan? Uh, I generally start at zero four. I get up, um, take a shower, get ready, get to work about five, and I uh, do my job. And I normally come home every night around eight o'clock, try to be in the bed by nine or ten, and start over the next day and do it again. Now you said do your job. Do the jobs vary greatly for the soldiers? Are some in buildings doing uh, administrative work while others are out paroling, at, at, at patrolling? And what do you do? Uh, exactly, yes. There are some that work in buildings. There are some that are outside the wire uh, doing the, re the really hard jobs. Um, my job here, I'm the uh, security manager and the anti-terrorism force protection manager. Basically, my job is to make sure that the compound we work in is secure and as safe as possible considering the environment that we're in. Now, you just saying that just kind of sent something through me. It, it, it got, uh, what you're doing it takes a tremendous amount of training as well as courage. We hear a lot about people. Uh, post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome with soldiers returning. Is that something that you're prepared to have to deal with when you get back? Um, I really don't think about it because, uh, you know, I'm out here to do a job and uh, I love what I do. And um, at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. But uh, my focus is on making sure that the Marines are here taken care of and getting back home to my family. And family is right down the road. I, I get on Warm Springs Road, which takes us right into Warm Springs, which is your hometown, every day coming to work. So um, how do you stay in touch with the family? Uh, email, Facebook, I call when I can. Um, it's pretty uh, easy at times to keep in touch out here from people back home. Now, there are, are, are a lot of people who would say, why did you join the Army? You knew that there were risks. You knew that the, the possibility of not coming home existed. Why would you join the Marines? Uh, I've always wanted, I've been fascinated by the military. Uh, the first time I saw a Marine in Blues, I knew I wanted to be one. And uh, 20 years later, over 20 years later, actually, I still love what I do. And uh, I'm going to be here until they kick me out. I, I love being a Marine. I love being around, around Marines. Um, you know, people that haven't done it, can never understand the brotherhood and sisterhood that we have. You know, we're truly a family and we love each other and I love what I do. And that was my next question. Here's your opportunity uh, to, to say hello by way of the D. Armstrong Show to family and tell us a little bit about them and say hi to them. Uh, I want to say hi to my dad and my sister. Congratulations on the birth of your son. Um, congratulations. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know, my mom passed away a few years ago. Fortunately, she's not here with me, but she's here in spirit. And uh, my family and friends back in Warm Springs, I love you all. I miss you soon. Miss you, and I'll be home soon. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. What is the first thing that you plan to do once you're back on American soil? Uh, get the biggest, greasiest cheeseburger that I could possibly find and just take my time with it. <laughs> Well, I got to ask you, where in the world are you going to get that? <laughs> uh, I'll find a place, trust me. It's not, it won't be that hard. <laughs> My stepson just joined the Marines and uh, right out of high school did very well and uh, still going through some training. Tell us what you want people to know about the Marines, why you are so passionate about serving your country. Uh, it's just bred in us to always be the best and do our best, and we just love what we do. And um, the thing about the Marines is that we'll never quit. You'll never see us quit or anything. And uh, we're just here to protect and serve and do our job, first and foremost. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Anything else, I just want to give you an opportunity to, to shout out to anyone else, say anything else you want to say. Uh, it's just awesome to, the technology that allows us to be with you this way. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be on here tonight and uh, just ask the people to keep us in your prayers and thoughts and um, regardless of what you feel about the conflict over here, just remember that we're over here sacrificing our lives and uh, we do it because we love to do, we love what we do and we love our country. And just thanks for your support. 
well, as you know, Columbus and this whole area uh, is, is very grateful for the military. Most of us have some military ties one way or the other. Again, Sergeant Clifford Hamler of the Marine Corps joining us on the D. Armstrong Show all the way from Afghanistan. Thanks again. Thank you.